it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, we're gonna learn how to crochet the Sweet Shop scarf. This is a super fun scarf, not just with the fun colors, but the stitch work as well. We're gonna be working up some beautiful star stitch in all kinds of different colors. You can see it in all different colors. This is a wonderful scrap yarn project. And the star stitch looks equally pretty on the back too. It looks a little bit different, but equally pretty. And we are also gonna add, with all the colors we're using, we're gonna add some fun fringe as well. So I'm gonna show you how to stitch up the star stitch, how to change colors, how to work up the whole scarf, and then later on in the video, we're gonna be adding this lovely fringe to the bottom. It's totally optional, it's up to you, but we are gonna add some at the bottom if you'd like to do that as well. So the finished scarf measures about six inches wide and it's about 48 inches long. However, you can customize the width and the length um, using multiples and working more rows, et cetera, which I'm gonna show you on later in the video. So let's get started. For this project, you'll need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, a tape measure is super helpful if you need to change the width and to get the length of the scarf that you need. We're gonna be using a six millimeter J crochet hook. This is my Furls Odyssey. I'll put the link down below and a coupon code to get a discount if you'd like to get one for yourself. This is the turquoise. And then let's talk about this gorgeous yarn. I have a whole bunch of yarn here. Our scarf is gonna have lots and lots of colors. Now I'm gonna be using, I have all kinds of um, chic sheep. Now I've used this for some other projects and I have a ton of it left over. So I really wanted to do like a scrappy, really colorful project. And I have all kinds of colors and I'll tell you what each of them are in a minute. But um, this is a medium four weight yarn on the yarn weight scale. And it recommends a five millimeter H crochet hook. Now, if you notice, we are gonna be using a couple sizes up, the J crochet hook. And that's because with the star stitch, you wanna kinda of open it up a little bit. I always go a little higher than the recommended hook size for the star stitch. So we went, um, we skipped over the I altogether and went to the J hook. So we are gonna be using a little bit larger of a hook. But if you need to substitute yarn, just look for that medium four on the yarn uh, label. It looks like a little mini ball of yarn with a number in it, medium four, and then look for one that recommends the H crochet hook and you'll be just fine. Now let's talk about these colors. If you uh, wanted to replicate a similar palette or just were curious about all these colors that I'm using. Um, this started, we're gonna start from left and kind of come around this arch. This is called Vineyard Green Tea VIP Mimosa, Lace, Fairy Tale, Polo, Mai Tai, Suede, and Creme de Mint. So um, I basically just gathered up all this chic sheep yarn that I had. I have it left over from different projects and we're gonna be doing some striping. So I'm gonna be doing random striping, but I'm gonna stay in the same order. So um, when you're doing scrappy projects like this, some yarns like, see I have two balls of this, maybe you make a little bit of a thicker stripe. Maybe if you have just a little bit of this bright green here like I do, maybe you do like one or two stripes here and there. So um, I am gonna stay in the same order, but I will vary the thickness of the stripes. And as we move along in our scarf, I will show you how to change colors as well. Okay, we have our first color. I'm gonna pick this purpley vineyard color and our hook. The first thing we need to do is put a slip knot on our hook. So to begin, and let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see better, what we're gonna do is put the yarn around our fingers to make a loop, bring the yarn behind that loop, reach in with your hook, bring up a loop and tighten. Then what we're gonna do is our starting chain. Now the multiple is any odd number, we're gonna do 31 chains, okay? So to make a chain, wrap the yarn around the hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31. So before you proceed, just make sure that this starting chain is about the length of the, or the width rather, of the scarf that you would like to have, okay? 
So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert our hook into the second chain from the hook, okay? So this loop here on our hook already does not count. So we're gonna go one, two, and then what we're gonna do is insert the hook into that chain and bring up a loop. You'll have two loops on your hook next. And then we're gonna leave that loop on there and go into the next chain, insert it into the next chain, bring up a loop. You'll have three loops on the hook. Insert the hook into the next chain, bring up a loop. You'll have four loops on the hook. Insert the hook into the next chain, bring up a loop. You'll have five loops on your hook. And then insert your hook into the next chain, bring up a loop, and you'll have six loops on your hook, okay? So you wanna do this until you have six loops on your hook. Then what we're gonna do is wrap the yarn around the hook again, and then we're gonna bring that hook through all six loops on the hook. Then what we wanna do is finish. This is our first star. So what we're gonna do next is chain one to kind of close up the top of the star. So you can see we have a star and also we have a little hole at the top. That's what we're gonna call the eye of the star as we move forward. So we're gonna work into that eye so you'll wanna know and, and get a feel for that. So then we're gonna make our second star. So insert your hook into that eye that we just talked about and bring up a loop. Then you're gonna insert your hook into the last two spikes. So you can see all around you have spikes. In those last two spikes, you're gonna insert your hook in between them and bring up a loop, just like that. Then you're gonna insert the hook into the last chain that you worked your last star. So uh, the easiest way to tell what that last chain was is it looks big. See these other ones look more uh, compact, but this one looks kind of big and loopy right here at the bottom. See how it looks bigger? Insert your hook into that loop. That last chain worked. You'll have four loops on your hook at this point. Insert your hook into the next chain that you see and bring up a loop. You'll have five loops. Insert your hook into the next chain and bring up a loop. You'll have six loops on your hook. So then what you wanna do is wrap the yarn around the hook once again, bring it through all six loops, and then chain one, okay? So we now have two little stars side by side. All right, we're gonna repeat this all the way across and we're gonna do it together. If you're familiar with star stitch, just you can just kind of keep going, but we're gonna do this whole row together, okay? Um, insert the hook into the eye of the star you just made and bring up a loop. Insert the hook into, in between those last two spikes of your star that you just made and bring up a loop. Insert the hook into that last chain, remember it's really big looking, bring up a loop. Insert the hook into the next chain, bring up a loop. Insert the hook into that next chain, bring up a loop. You'll have six loops on the hook, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops and chain one. Third star complete. It's looking really cute. Okay, go back into the eye, insert that uh, hook into the eye that you just made of that star, bring up a loop. Insert into, in between the last two spikes of that last star you made, bring up a loop. Insert the hook in that last chain that you worked, remember it looks a little bit more open than the other ones, and bring up a loop. Insert the hook into the next chain that you see and bring up a loop. Insert the hook into the next chain and bring up a loop. You'll have six loops on the hook once again, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops, and chain one. Four stars complete. All right, let's do the next one. Insert the hook into the eye of the star you just made, bring up a loop. Insert the hook into the last two spikes of that last star, bring up a loop. Whoops, I dropped my loop. Let's do that again. The last two spikes, bring up a loop. Insert the hook into that last chain worked, bring up a loop. Insert the hook into the next chain that you see, bring up a loop. Insert the hook into the next chain and bring up a loop. Six loops are on the hook, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops and chain one. Moving right along, insert the hook into the eye of the star you just worked, bring up a loop. Insert the hook in between the last two spikes of that star, bring up a loop. 
I'm going to redo that because I think I caught a ply on there. I think my, my yarn split a little bit. Insert the hook into those last two spikes. Bring up a loop. There we go. Insert the hook into that last chain worked when you made your star. Bring up a loop. Insert the hook into the next chain that you see. Bring up a loop. Insert the hook into that next chain and bring up a loop. Make sure you have six loops on the hook. Then wrap your own around hook. Bring it through all six loops and chain one. All right, let's work the next one. I'm going to pick up speed a little bit. We're about halfway through the row. Insert the hook into the eye. Bring up a loop. Insert the hook into those last two spikes and bring up a loop. Insert the hook into the last chain, bring up a loop. Insert the hook into the next chain, bring up a loop. Next chain, bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through all six loops. I always double check that I have six loops before I do that. And chain one. Next star, insert it into the eye, bring up a loop. Last two spikes worked, bring up a loop. Next chain, bring up a loop. Next chain, bring up a loop. Next chain, bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops and chain one. We have a lot of progress, it's looking really pretty. Okay, next one. Insert into the eye, bring up a loop. Insert into the last two spikes, bring up a loop. Insert it into the last chain worked, bring up a loop. Insert it into the next chain, bring up a loop, and insert it into that next chain, bring up a loop. Make sure you have six loops on that hook. Bring it through all six loops and chain one. Next, bring up a loop through that eye. Bring up a loop through those last two spikes. Bring up a loop through that last chain worked. Bring up a loop through the next chain. Bring up a loop through the next chain. Six loops are on the hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops and chain one. All right, let's get a little bit more yarn here. All right, insert the hook into that last eye worked. Insert the hook into the last two spikes. Insert the hook into the last chain worked. Insert the hook into the, ne into the next chain. Insert the hook into the next chain. Six loops are on the hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops and chain one. All right, we're making great progress. We're almost to the end. Insert the hook into the eye, bring up a loop. Insert the hook into the last uh, two spikes, bring up a loop. Insert the hook into the last chain worked, bring up a loop. Insert the hook into the next chain, bring up a loop. Insert the hook into the next chain, bring up a loop. Six loops on the hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring through all six loops and chain one. All right, insert the hook into the eye of the last star. Insert the hook into the last two spikes worked. Insert the hook into that last chain worked. Insert the hook into the next chain. Insert the hook into the next chain. Now, you should have one chain left, and we're gonna deal with that in just a minute, but you also should have six loops on your hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops and chain one. Now to finish up the row, we're simply gonna work a half double crochet into that last chain. So to make a half double crochet, wrap yarn around hook, insert it into that last chain, bring up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all three loops and your row is complete. So here is the beginnings of our scarf. The width is really nice. It's got a little stretch. The stiff stitch definition is good. And our J hook is giving us plenty of room to kind of reach into those stitches. So let's move on to row two. Okay, for row two, what we're gonna do is chain two. One and two, and we're gonna turn. So sometimes when you're learning this stitch, it's helpful uh, to flip it over because you can really see the eyes really easily. See all those little holes along the top? And so in that first eye right here, we're gonna do two half double crochet. One and two. Hop over to the next eye. You can sort of see them also on the back. See those little holes at the top? But if you wanna make sure, you can flip it over and look as well. Next eye, two half double crochets, one and two. 
Next eye, two half double crochets. One and two. And we're just doing this all the way across. Row two is a very simple row to complete. It takes a little bit less time than creating the stars, okay? Two half doubles in the next eye. We're just doing this all the way across. That's gonna give our star, when we flip it over, we'll be able to see it better. But that's gonna give the star the rounded kind of radial shape that we're after, okay? So we're just working two half doubles in each eye all the way across. Just like that. And again, when you're doing this, we, we did go up to the larger hook, but just make sure that you keep your tension um, and your hands nice and relaxed when you're doing this stitch. Because this one is, is pretty dense and it can kind of seize up on you and, and get a little tight sometimes. So just kind of maintain that good tension throughout as well. So I'm just working my two half doubles in each eye all the way across. And when we flip this over, it's gonna look really pretty. And when we start changing colors for our rows, it's gonna look even more interesting because it's really gonna show off those stars when you have contrasting colors. Okay, here's our last eye. Work two half double crochets in that last eye. One and two. And then to finish off the row, uh, we're gonna locate that last stitch. Remember we did a, a stitch at the end of the row? You can sort of see it around there. There's a little like hole in the side, work one half double crochet into that last stitch. Just like that, okay? All right, looking good. Let's flip it over. You can see we now have a circular radial star shape. Really cool. Okay, so then what we're gonna do for row three is we're going to chain three. This is going to start the first star of the row. We're going to chain three. One, two, three, and then we're going to sort of turn it so that that chain is facing us. In the second chain from the hook, we're going to start doing our loops on our hook again to create our stars. So again, this loop on our hook does not count. You're going to go one, two, and in that second chain from the hook, insert the hook, bring up a loop, Insert the hook into the next chain, bring up a loop. Then we're gonna start working into the stitches. So you'll want your stars to face you. And we're gonna go into that first stitch of the row here. You can see the stitches at the top, these little loops at the top. Insert the hook into the next stitch, bring up a loop. We'll have four loops on our hook. Insert the hook into the next stitch, bring up a loop. Five loops on the hook. Insert the hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. You'll have six loops on the hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops very carefully and chain one. Okay, so as you can see, your, your stars, their eyes should be lined up. So you can see the eye of the star here and it lines up with the one below it, okay? All right. Then the rest of it is pretty much the same as we did for row one, but we're gonna do it completely together because I know some of you um, are learning this stitch as well. So we're gonna go in the eye of the star we just made and bring up a loop. We're gonna go in between those last two spikes of that star we just worked and bring up a loop. Some of this will seem familiar from row one. We're gonna work into that last chain worked from that star, it again, Again, excuse me, again, <laughs> it looks bigger than the stitches. See, we're working into stitches this time instead of chains, but that last stitch work, see how it looks a little bit more open than the other ones? We're gonna work into that one and bring up a loop. Work into the next stitch, bring up a loop. You should have five loops at this point. Work into the next stitch and bring up a loop. You'll have six loops on your hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops and chain one. And then just to double check our little star we just made, it is lined up with the one from the previous row. I kind of do that as a little spot check just to make sure I'm doing the right thing here. Go into the eye of the star you just made and bring up a loop. Go in between the last two spikes of that star you just made and bring up a loop. Go in that last stitch worked, bring up a loop. Go into the next stitch, bring up a loop. 
go into the next stitch and bring up a loop. You should have six loops on the hook, wrap yarn around hook, bring through all six loops and chain one. Next stitch, or next star rather, go into the eye, bring up a loop, go in those last two spikes, bring up a loop, go in that last stitch worked of that previous star, bring up a loop, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop. Wrap your yarn around hook, go through all six loops and chain one. Next star, go into the eye, bring up a loop, go into those last two spikes, bring up a loop, go into that last stitch, bring up a loop, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, next stitch, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops and chain one. I like to kind of straighten things out, look at what I have here. Let's get a little bit more yarn. All right, let's cruise down to the end of this row and I'll show you how to finish off the row. Go into the eye, bring up a loop, go into the last two spikes, bring up a loop, go into the last stitch, bring up a loop, next stitch, bring up a loop, next stitch, bring up a loop. Yarn around hook, all six loops and chain one. Our eyes are still lining up nicely, which is great. Go into the eye, bring up a loop, last two spikes, bring up a loop, last stitch, bring up a loop, next stitch, bring up a loop, next stitch, bring up a loop. Six loops, yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops and chain one. Next star, go into the eye, bring up a loop, last two spikes in between them, bring up a loop, last stitch worked in that star, bring up a loop, next stitch, bring up a loop, Next stitch, bring up a loop, yarn around hook, all six loops, chain one. Looking pretty. All right, next, I'm gonna get a little bit more yarn. All right, go into that eye, bring up a loop, go into those last two spikes you worked, bring up a loop, that last stitch you worked of that star, bring up a loop, next stitch, bring up a loop, next stitch, bring up a loop, Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops and chain one. All right, next star. Go into, go into the eye of the last star worked, bring up a loop, go in between those last two spikes, bring up a loop, go into that last stitch worked, bring up a loop, next stitch, bring up a loop, next stitch, bring up a loop. Six loops are on the hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops and chain one. Let me get this tail out of the way. We'll take care of those tails at the end. Go into that last star worked, into the eye and bring up a loop. Go into the last two spikes worked in between, bring up a loop. Go into that last stitch worked, bring up a loop. Go into the next stitch, bring up a loop. Next stitch, bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops and chain one. Go into the eye of the last star, bring up a loop. Go in between the last two spikes, bring up a loop. Go into that last stitch worked of that previous star, bring up a loop. Insert, bring up a loop into the next stitch, bring up the loop of the next stitch, six loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops and chain one. Okay, go into, we're gonna work our last little star, go into the eye of the star, bring up a loop. Go in between those last two spikes, bring up a loop, last stitch worked, bring up a loop, next stitch, bring up a loop, and then that next stitch, might be a little hard to see, but at the very end there, bring up a loop in that last stitch, three loops on the hook, wrap yarn around hook, bring through all six loops, and chain one. Okay, to finish off row three, look for that topmost chain from the previous row. Remember we did a turning chain and you're gonna work one half double crochet into that turning chain, just like that. Okay, so to finish your scarf, we're going to be repeating rows two and three, two and three, over and over and over. You can back up the video, you can slow-mo it if you want to, and we're going to um, be just changing colors and working rows until the scarf is complete. So you, all you have to do is repeat rows two and three, two and three, over and over and over again. Okay, when you're ready to switch colors, I'm coming up to the end of row two, 
the, the half double crochet row, just the real simple half double crochet row. I'm going to finish off the row. And then what I'm going to do is cut the yarn. Now, if you have a way of joining yarn you prefer, definitely feel free. I do get that question. There's different ways to do it. Do the one that you like best. But I'm going to cut mine, and we're going to fasten off. Now, I'm going to get the next color in my lineup here, which is this bright green. And I'm going to just show you how to get started on a new row. You'll want to get started with a new color, though, like I mentioned before, on a row three. It will stand out uh, much nicer. Because rows two and three together make that radial star, you want it to um, be when you're starting on a star row, okay? All right, so grab your new yarn. And what we're going to do is reinsert the hook back into that stitch where we left off, okay? So hook that new yarn on. And we're going to take care of all these tails later. Now, as a side note, if you do thicker stripes, um, you'll have less ends, uh, less color changes. So I just wanted to show you this, though, so you could see the beautiful color changes that we're going to be creating here. Okay, I'm tying the new yarn right on. We're just going to get these tails out of our way so we don't um, have them uh, in the way and getting tangled up. We're going to reinsert the hook back into that same stitch where we tied on the yarn, bring up a loop, and then what we're going to do is just begin row three. So let's do a couple stitches together so you can really see how this looks. Chain three, one, two, three. Same thing you would do for a regular row three. And then this loop here does not count. Go two chains in, the second chain from the hook, insert the hook into that second chain from the hook, bring up a loop. Insert the hook into the next chain, bring up a loop. Then we're going to go into the first stitch here, bring up a loop. Next stitch, bring up a loop till you have six loops on the hook. Next stitch, bring up a loop. Then we're going to, we have six loops on the hook. We're going to wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through all six loops, and chain one, okay? All right, so we have our first star. Go into the eye of the star that you just made, bring up a loop, go in between those last two spikes that you worked from your star you just made, bring up a loop, go into that last stitch worked, bring up a loop, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, and the next stitch, bring up a loop. Make sure you have six loops on the hook once again. Same thing, we're just repeating the row, but in a new color. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops, and chain one. And then what I like to do is just double check that those eyes are lining up properly and they are, okay? So go into the eye of the star you just made. This is all stuff we've done. I just wanted to show it to you in the other color, okay? Let's make one more star together just so you can see how it looks. Six loops, yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops and chain one. So the reason uh, why I was telling you to um, change your colors on row three, as you can really see, you're going to have a full star when you do that, okay? And they really, those spikes are really shown off when you have these contrasting colors, okay? So what you're going to do for your, the rest of your scarf is just repeat rows two and three, two and three, over and over and over again. And when we rejoin, we're going to have a bunch more colors on here to show off and our scarf is going to be really magnificent. So keep going with rows two and three, two and three, and when we rejoin, we'll um, do some finish work and, and look at our scarf progress. All right, just coming up to the end of the row of our half double crochet stitches, and we are going to wrap up our scarf, the crochet portion of our scarf. Now remember, when you are finishing your scarf, you want to make sure the wrong side, the back side, is facing you. And I just want to point out, the back of our scarf looks super pretty. It, so when you wear it, either side is going to look gorgeous. Um, but you want to finish on your half double crochet rows because, see if we flip it over, it completes the star. Okay, so just make sure you end on a half double crochet row. So what we want to do now is cut our yarn. And as an option, we're going to add some fringe, okay? Now, as you can see, we have lots of tails. We'll take care of those later. But let's look at what we have here. Now, I did um, some varying 
thicknesses of stripes. I had all different uh, scraps of this same type of yarn. So as you can see, and I kind of like the way it looks, but as you can see, some of my stripes are thicker, some are thinner, and it really was a lot of fun to work on. So what I want to do now is add some fringe. I'm going to make it just add a little bit more excitement to this scarf. Um, it's a very fun and bright and exciting scarf with a fun stitch. So I think some fringe would be in order for this. Uh, obviously, you do not have to add fringe if you don't want to. But I want to do my fringe in the same order. Now, you could do fringe in just one color if you like. I'm going to do some multicolor fringe. And I'm going to do it in the same order that I worked my rows, okay? So you'll want to grab all of your yarn again. And I'm just going to grab mine over here real quick. And you want to grab the same colors that you used for your um, scarf, obviously. So let's... Um, Let's start, I'm gonna show you how to do, a, we'll, we'll do one or two together and then you can kind of go off and do them on your own. So what we wanna do is, uh, you'll want your hook for this, it, it's definitely helpful. And you wanna make sure that you put your fringe at regular intervals so that it looks, um, the spacing of your fringe is going to be nice and neat, okay? Because this scarf is really pretty. We have some beautiful stitches and we just wanna make sure everything looks nice and neat, okay? So the first color of our repeat here is this purple color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull about 12 inches of yarn and then I'm gonna fold it, pull 12 more inches of yarn, and then I'm gonna fold it, pull 12 more inches of yarn, and then I'm going to cut it. Um, my fringe is gonna be about half of what I pulled out because we're gonna be folding it in half. So, and then we'll trim the bottom later and make it nice and neat, but it's gonna be about this long. Once you have your little bundle, just kind of fold it over your finger like this. And I like to flip my scarf over to the back because I like that little knot to be in the front. I think it just looks a little prettier. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So what you want to do is go over to the edge of your scarf and insert your hook. And then you're going to kind of hook the yarn on that loop that was draped over your finger and pull it through. Whoops, I dropped it. Let's try that again. Uh, we're going to just kind of pull it through here. And you'll have this loop at the top. And you're going to just kind of grab those ends and we're going to give it a fresh cut along the bottom once we get all of our fringe on and I'm just going to give it a gentle tug and just sort of cinch it up and tighten it up and as you can see let me flip it back over so I can show you what I mean see how it, uh, the little knot is in the front to me it just looks a little bit more finished it's just my opinion um, you can do it either way but I like to flip mine over to the back when I'm doing my fringe so I get that pretty little uh, not and it looks very nice across when you get more fringe on there. Okay, so then what we're going to do is our next color. Let's do one more together. Our next color is this lovely yellow. You can see it's the next stripe. So we're going to pull about, um, and I'm eyeballing this. You can lay a ruler down to kind of keep you on track so your fringe isn't like all over the place. Um, but I'm going to pull about 12 inches and fold it in half. 12 inches, fold it in half. 12 inches and then cut the yarn. Then I'm gonna fold it in half over my finger, let it drape over, and then we can go into the next little stitch here. And you can sort of look and see where you're at, you can flip it to the front, but just make sure it's at evenly spaced intervals, if you will. Okay, and then we're gonna hook it on just like that, and bring it up like this we have this loop that we've made the the hook helps a lot you could if, if we had chunkier yarn you could sort of feed it through but the hook really kind of pulls it up for you and then we're going to send the ends in and then we're just going to like cinch it up just like that okay and just flip it over and you can see we now have another little bundle of fringe okay so continue across going in any order you like again you can do solid colors as well so it's totally up to you so my next color would be this cream color and then the pink and the green and so forth so I'm gonna keep adding my fringe and when we rejoin we're gonna give our fringe a little haircut weave in some ends and kind of wrap up our scarf 
Okay, we've put all of our fringe on and even though it's kind of messy and we haven't trimmed yet, I think it looks so much fun. So let's just get everything all straightened out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some large scissors this time and we're gonna cut it across, okay? Now, this can rarely be done in one pass, so you might need to kind of come in and touch things up a little. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start, um, I like to locate my shortest loop. So that would be this one over here. So that's about the fringe length I'm gonna go with. So just under that loop. So I'm gonna take it to about seven inches of the fringe, okay? Okay, so let's go across here and we're just gonna go nice and slow. And I'm sort of resting the bottoms of my scissors on the table. That's why it's kind of noisy, but um, it sort of helps keep things nice and straight here. Okay, so if, in case you have any crookedness, which mine is sort of at an angle here, I'm noticing. Um, like I said, it will rarely be in one perfect pass, so you can kind of try to keep your scissors parallel to the bottom of your scarf. That's uh, helpful. Okay, and again, it's not going to be completely perfect, and really once we pick it up and kind of shake it around a little bit, um, it'll sort of loosen up a little bit too, okay? So you want to just kind of move things around here, and then let's see if we have any any long pieces that are really standing out. So if you see any long pieces, just give them a little snip. All right, now for the other side, let me grab these two little long pieces here. For the other side, what we're gonna do, and this scrap that you have, you can save to stuff things, like our holiday pillow um, crochet along that we just did, this would be perfect for stuffing things like that. All right, so let's slide our scarf over carefully, kind of leave those uh, fringes intact here, kind of as they lie, and then we can grab the other side. You can see what a big difference with how much we've cut. Um, so just kind of get everything straightened out, make sure all those knots are laying nice and flat, make sure the edges of the scarf, and as you can see, we did some random stripe widths, so it will look a little bit different. Um, I'm gonna pick my scarf up a little so it doesn't slide off the table here. And then, just wanna make sure my edges are lined up, and then we're gonna sort of, um, let me slide that up so you can see the bottom here. We're gonna just make sure that everything is lined up. Take a take a little bit of time to do this because it's it's worth it to get it right. Then we're gonna grab our scissors and we're just gonna sort of keep continuing across here, okay? So just keep going with your cuts as if it was one wide scarf, okay? And across, okay? We can save those scraps for something else later. And I'm just kind of using my fingers to comb everything, make sure there's no long pieces. Um, it's not gonna be perfectly perfect, but you wanna make sure that it's at least somewhat uh, lined up, okay? And then we can sort of shake everything out. If you have any yarn crumbs, sweep them. And our fringe looks great. The last thing we need to do for our scarf is our ends. Now, if you worked yours like mine, uh, I did random striping like I talked about before. Uh, so you'll have, you know, for example, this pink end. We wanna thread our tapestry needle. And I'm gonna flip mine over to the back and I'm gonna take my needle and I'm gonna stay in the pink area only. I'm not gonna travel to this area or the other area below it because you'll see it traveling through. So just stay in that pink area or whatever color you're weaving and stay in those back loops. I'm just gonna weave my end in and give it a little snip, okay? Then you'll just repeat that for the rest of your tails. So our ends are woven in and our scarf looks absolutely beautiful and it's ready to wear. So that is how you crochet the Sweet Shop scarf. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again.